They're jumping out for these guys for radio check. He's not having nearly the problems that he was having. Anyway, over to you, just the thought of the day. Uh, good to hear you, good coughing, and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll say 73s to everyone. Thanks, thanks for being there. This is Zulu Lima, one hotel November here. Cheers. Yeah, good evening. It's uh, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. I'm just wondering if I could have a quick radio check, please. It's Zulu Lima number two, Charlie Tango Mike. Over. Charlie India Mike, I can copy you, not strong. Over. Yeah, call sign is Zulu Lima number two, Charlie Tango Mike. Two Charlie Tango Mike. QRP. Over. ZL1 Hotel November, ZL2 CTM. Yeah, name here is Charlie and the QTH is Fielding. Fielding just outside Palmerston North. Uh, this is the uh, the first contact on a, a homebrew radio here. So uh, I know it's low power, but I was just quite keen to get a, uh, a quality check over. Uh, Roger there, Charlie. Very nice to work here and the rig's sounding very good. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And I've watched your YouTube uh, shows. <laughs> In fact, today I built your mic preamp circuit. I've got a variable and got it going, and it's sounding quite nice. So, uh, really pleased to work you. Over. Oh, that's pretty great to hear there, Brian. Well, I'm actually, uh, I don't know if you've been looking at the, the latest series, but I'm actually uh, transmitting on that particular radio. So um, I'm running it into the power amplifier, but only at a very low level. So I'm sort of just peaking here around 15 to 20 watts there, Brian, ever. Oh, that's good news. Oh, Roger there. Um, well, I'm running 50 watts. Uh, I'm running a 705, and I'm running it remote. So I'm using uh, a Samsung tablet. Uh, uh, so the little rig is sounding very good. And I like the technique that you used of uh, modular. Modular construction um, is the way to go because if you want to make any changes, it's just a matter of changing that module. Over. ZL1 Hotel November, ZL2 CTM. Yeah, you're dead right there, Brian, and that's why I like doing it. Um, I can swap out the modules as required. Um, tweak them. It, it's just it just it's just something which I enjoy. It makes it sort of nice and easy. Uh, it's not to everybody's taste, but uh, you know each to their own, as they say. Anyway, I'll let you go. Okay, so that was interesting. Um, that was good. So that was the first contact, and uh, good to hear that um, the signal report was nice and clear. So more than happy with that. So right before I um, I go any further, I'll just do a bit of an update on where I've got to with the radio. Um, uh, right, so so so, what have I done since we last did the uh, the receiver? Okay, um, everything's up and running now, so the CW is working just fine. Uh, you'll note that the output of clock one, I've got a small 10k pot there. Uh, that just allows me to uh, to adjust the output to get the correct drive into, uh, pardon me, into the the power amplifier. Uh, the, uh, clearly, the the level. Uh, coming out of the of um, the SI5351 is different from the, the driver, so uh, that just allows me to balance the two to get uh, approximately the same power coming out. So that's working well. Uh, the only other tweak I've done on transmit, I am shifting the BFO frequency down uh, 200 hertz, uh, and the reason for that is uh, where I had it currently sitting. Um, I was having just a very, very small amount, not a lot, but just a small amount of the unwanted sideband. In other words, the upper sideband was just starting to leak past the uh, the crystal filters. So by shifting that down 200 hertz, um, as you can hear there from that signal report, I'm still retaining 
the fidelity that I want uh, in the transmitted frequency range, uh, but I'm also totally now um, attenuating the unwanted sideband. Uh, on receive, uh, I just return it back up 200 hertz, which um, to me sounds about right. Uh, so that works, uh, was working well. Um, the pre-driver over here I'm still playing with. Um, I've got quite a bit coming up over the next few months, so I'm not going to have a huge amount of chance to, to work on this, so it's going to be shelved for a while. But I thought I just wanted to do a quick contact tonight, albeit um, at, at the lower power, uh, just to sort of demonstrate that it is actually working, and just to confirm things like the microphone amplifier down here, um, and uh, clearly the, um, and the transmit um, side of the house. Uh, interesting enough, the configuration of that little pre-driver here from an experimenting point of view um, is the same configuration as the IF amps. Um, rather than having a fixed resistor for the emitter resistor, uh, I've just got a 100 ohm trim pot there. Um, and what I've got on the other side coming off the, uh, the wiper arm is the, uh, the 100 nanofarad capacitor to earth. So by varying that swiper arm, uh, the DC resistance which sets the bias point uh, remains the same uh, but the amount of the, 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 the proportion of that 100 ohm resistance that is bypassed uh, varies with the wiper arm and therefore I can there adjust the overall gain of that particular stage. Um, the downside is by varying the amount of that emitter resistor that is bypassed um, through the RN formula, I do actually uh, change the input uh, impedance or the resistive side of the house. So that's just the downside of that. So it makes, uh, from a maximum power transfer point of view, matching uh, difficult. But uh, for experimenting, it, it's, it's just fine for me. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, the, there's a few things I wanted to try with this particular radio, which have worked out well. Um, one was using uh, these these large relays here to do dual purposes. So in this particular one, to switch both the input and the output uh, of the two bandpass filters, um, that worked out fine. Uh, the the bigger relay up the back here, which is not only switching the 12 volts between the transmit and receive, but it's also sharing those two bandpass filters uh, between the receive. Um, circuit and the transmit circuit uh, just saves me having to build um, another another two sets of um, bandpass filters for that particular role. Uh, haven't had any problems with uh, feedback so the configuration as I, I had for the this particular pre-driver here is to be separated by at least uh, one of the um, poles um, and I think that's certainly worked out well. I've had no instability issues there with with feedback which is which is good. Um, the little read over here is, is more for the power amplifier. Uh, it just requires a, uh, a normally open to become normally closed switch uh, to switch that on and off. So um, that's just a, uh, just a just a small little relay with a with a three uh, with a two n three nine o four with a one k ohm um, base resistor being switched on and off from the Arduino down there, uh, which is exactly the same configuration as these two here, which are switching um, these two relays as well as the um, the IF uh, relays. Sorry, not, the, not these ones. These ones down here. Uh, right, what else, what else, what else? Uh, this uh, antenna tune's working just fine, so that um, that keys up the the uh, amplifier and um, sends out the tone. Uh, use it utilizing clock 2 um, on the, the frequency of, of choice, i.e. the currently tuned frequency. So that's working out well. Um, same with the CW spot to, uh, to get that 700 hertz tone to help tune in uh, a CW signal. Um, that's working just fine, which is good. So I just go for that, um, that beat frequency for that. Uh, what else do I want to talk about, if anything? Um, no, I think that's about all, actually. So um, I might uh, call it there. And like I say, I've got quite a bit on over the next several months. So, well, in a few months, actually. So... I don't think I'll have a lot of time to work on it, but um, at least I can sort of draw a line um, on the transmit side of the house um, and I can dust this off uh, in the future to have uh, or to continue playing with it. Anyway, I hope that was of interest. Um, I, I will say for those who are, are new to this particular channel, um, none of these videos are tutorials. 
Uh, this is purely just a video log of what I'm playing with um, to see if it's of interest to anybody to sort of help encourage others to give homebrew uh, a go. Uh, there is, yeah, like I say, no way, shape or form are these tutorials or how-tos. Um, so, yeah, each to their own, as you heard on that, uh, that QSO before. Um, yeah, this particular layout works for me. This is what I enjoy. I like having it open. I like to be able to see what's going on as I'm using the radio and I'm hearing clicking and clicking and I can you know, I can see components and actually think what they're doing um, as I'm using the radio. So again, each to their own. Right, I have rambled on long enough, um, 73, and uh, we'll catch you for the, uh, the next lot of projects.